Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 5th through February 11th. Now this is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I want you to just take what resonates and leave the rest. Ooh, a deception. Hmm. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Who is it? That's the question. We're going to get another one. We're going to do the oracle cards, two of those first. And then we are going to do uh, the tarot. Oh, doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Doubt and deception. Yikes. Okay. So this is for Leo. What do we have for Leo for this week? Oh, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I release the need to know all the answers. Doubt and deception. They really go hand in hand, don't you think? They really do. It's time to move on. All right, it's time to pick yourself up, put yourself in the driver's seat, and take the lead in your own life. <coughs> you might have to move away. You know, it looks like you need to release something and move away from the trouble. trouble and bring some calmness back to your life. It's time, time to, you know, come out of this period of, I'm sorry, I'm trying to cough, I'm trying to stop a cough from coming, <coughs> but it's not gonna happen. You need to, you need to come out of this period of struggle. Okay, there's been some kind of struggle. There's been some family feuds, perhaps. And I think many of you are aching to start a new journey. Okay, this is the fool. When the fool comes out in a reading, you are being urged to do have a fresh start, to start over, to have a new beginning, to trust and have faith that everything is as it is supposed to be. Okay, trust and faith that you have the right um, skills, the right emotions going on right now, okay? Because this is mastering of emotions, that you can believe in yourself, that your inner guide is telling you the truth, okay? That's what I, I hear. Right here, this is, is mastering your emotions, putting yourself in the driver's seat, and moving forward, okay? And this is moving as well. So many of you could be moving home or, or thinking about or having a big change in your home. Somebody could be moving out of your home, which forces you to have faith in the future. So I really feel like for many of you, there's a big change coming because this is a completion. Perhaps there's a big change coming in your home. There is. And you are being urged to have faith and trust in your new journey that is in front of you. It's time for you to see the light, okay? See the light. Because there could be a third-party situation, you know? And your inner guide, there's your inner guide. That's great. Thank you, Lord. Okay, your inner guide has been telling you. They have, and you've been doubting your inner guide. You've been deceiving yourself, or somebody's been deceiving you, Okay. I see that it's a day, it's a time of, you know, really listening. There's some kind of secret here. This is also about secrets. There's some kind of secret here. And in regards to, you know, perhaps family. There's some kind of family secret, maybe. I don't know. There's some kind of secret. Could be about another person. Um, let's get the rest of the cards. And there you are. 
and then I'm going to zoom this in. There's a truth. There is some kind of truth coming out, okay? There's definitely some kind of truth coming out that you are going to have to have a lot of faith and trust in the future once it comes out. You are being offered a gift, whether you see it as a gift or not. You are being offered a gift of the truth, and possibly this gift is coming through your intuition. This is the High Priestess. Okay, your intuition, your inner guide has been trying to tell you something, okay? And I feel like you've been trying to compromise, you've been trying to keep things together. So, you know, you, you've been staying in this troubled water up there. You've been staying in these troubles, trying to compromise, trying to cooperate, trying to make things work out. But I feel like it's the insecurity is still there and you're on some really thin ice at this point and things are about to fall through. Here I see a lot of stubbornness, hot-headedness, and you're probably dealing with somebody who's really not into any love. This person is generally into everything but love, money, sex, greed, that kind of thing. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Here we have you. We have Cancer. We This is Pisces or Taurus. And this is Aries, so that's who we have so far. I'm going to get this zoomed in. I feel like, you know, for many of you, there's a the need to have confidence and willpower and courage and strength and the ability to master your emotions because I feel like you are about to receive a wake-up call. This is a wake-up call. Master emotions, master emotions. It's gonna, you are going to be called to master your emotions and accept this wake-up call that's coming to you through your inner guide. It's telling you that you need to start something over, start a new journey. This is what this is. The, the, the Fool card is the first card in the deck. It's when he starts a brand new journey, okay? A brand new journey, brand new journey journey and I'm repeating that because if many of you are probably thinking you know I'm just going to start over where I'm at no 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 brand new journey okay many of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a Libra Gemini Aquarius but I feel like it's really time for you to speak up for yourself to use your inner strength to Speak your voice, you know, speak your words, express yourself, express, express, express. It's time. It's time to bring security back to your life and stability. It feels like many of you are starting to remove some obstacles or really thinking about removing some obstacles because right now where you're at, you, things aren't changing. Things aren't getting better. The future doesn't look bright. I mean, this three of wands is reversed. It's like you're not getting what you want. Leo, you're not getting what you want. So maybe this is self-deception. I don't know. But upright, this is where they realize that their future is coming. It's here. It's coming. They can see their future in sight. Reverse, they can't. They're not. Their ships are not coming in. Okay. We have the tower, which is the sign of Scorpio. This card comes out when there is a disruption, a breakdown, a downfall that is coming in via the universe to shake things up for you because something is not right. It's time for your rebirth. It's time for your awakening. Awakening, awakening, right next to each other. These are both a wake-up call. A big one that the universe is bringing for you the universe is bringing you the truth the universe I consider the tower of the universe is bringing you this awakening that allows you to release the past it also tells me this is a secret and this is a secret a secret is about to be revealed some truth is about to be revealed it might be revealed harshly it might be some deception that you've been doubting something it might be revealed to the point where you decide i'm out of here i'm done i'm ready to start some go on my own here we also have uh this is the devil card okay so the devil is a capricorn so you do have uh taurus virgo capricorn quite a bit here but Capricorn the most. Just checking to make sure that we can see these cards. Um, 
there's 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 a lot of uh there's some kind of obsessions here there's addictions it could be a sexual addiction there is um some kind of manipulation going on and when the devil card comes up in a reading it says that you have the ability to free yourself you have the ability to break these chains you have the ability to slip out of the chains you have the ability to release this bond that is false okay because the devil brings in false bonds and you're being called to have no fear have no fear and to do it now this is fast moving and this is fast moving get moving unless you want to continue to have conflicts okay it's really really time for you to realize that your reluctance isn't going to change anything okay it's not it's time for you to bring relief back to your life once this tower comes out this is this is the disruption that brings relief okay it will be a relief it will I feel like it's time for you to be honest. Be honest. Another fast moving energy here. I think things are probably going to happen very, very quickly for you. There could be some gossip in your life. There's, a, there's definitely some caution and some trouble. And you are being called to have no fear. Master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat. Take the lead in your own life. And wake up because there's you it's time to accept the truth it's time to take the lead again okay this is the Emperor this is the leader this is the boss I'm the boss not you it's time to use your inner wisdom that you've gained throughout these years to dominate this situation in your life it's time to bring, 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 bring back stability and stand strong for what you desire. You're the boss. I believe many of you were involved in some kind of third party situation which left you feeling defeated, which brought you the doubt and the deception. So, this week I feel like there's going to be an upheaval that cracks a false foundation and could leave you undoubtedly starting a new journey with faith and trust. So Leo, that's what I have. Talk to you next time.